Hey guys, so today I am doing another thing a little different. Um, this is episode number two of my back to school kind of series thing. It's not really a series, but a group of videos. Yeah. Um, today it's just going to be how to organize binders and kind of little tips of how to study. I mean, that kind of sounds really nerdy, but sometimes when I study, I'm just like, what am I doing right now? Like, I don't know how to organize my thoughts um, unless I do it like a certain way, if that makes any sense. But okay, this was requested by Bella Zinocenta. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, um, yeah, this is for you. Um, I was planning on doing one like this, but this is really interesting because um, study tips are very important considering I usually don't study unless I have like a certain way of doing it anyway. Um, first of all, I will start off with how to organize my binders because I have a very specific way of doing it and it may be totally nerdy, but it's just how I like doing things. So first of all, um, my first example is going to be my English binder. Now, I have a label maker. And instead of writing all over my binders like I usually do, because I think I'm cool when I'm really not anyway, I make a label, as you can see, like this, and um, yeah, I just stick it right onto my binder and I'm like, huh, yeah, label. Um, this is my label maker, it's actually my mom's, but yeah. So. Um, all you pretty much do is just like rotate it and then click it. It's like a gun, like, and then you cut it. There's like a cut option and then it just kind of spits out and then yay. Um, you can probably get that at Staples for like a few dollars. That's what I'm assuming. Um, but anyway, yeah, I label every single one of my binders because when I'm rushing in between classes, I open my locker and I'm like, what am I doing? And um, I look and I'm like, oh, I need my English binder because some of my binders actually look the same. So I'm like, ha, 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 ha. And I get a little clueless sometimes. So yeah, this helps me. So inside my binder, this is one of my bigger ones because I haven't even started school yet, okay? I start school in a couple weeks and I already have everything organized first because when I walk into school, I'm prepared. I, there's no way I'm letting myself stress out this year. So I have an AP literature class, which is this, it's English, whatever, and I had to do a summer project. So yes, I decorated the inside of my binder. Um, I just went on like, I don't know, Microsoft Word, anything like that. And I just printed off a picture, cut it, and then glued it on my pocket because it's cute. So, whatever. Anyway, um, I had to do this summer project, so I just got a notebook and everything. But this is how um, I study for, like, how do I explain it? Taking notes, I guess. So we had to write an essay um, about this story and what I always do is I highlight and write in the margin I mean I know like it sounds kind of dorky because some people are like wow why would you write in the margin but the thing is like what if you have to write the essay and you need to put examples in it if you highlight it you could just kind of copy the what the sentence says and just put it right in the essay that's what I did um, and I took tons of notes and pretty much all the notes that I put in the margin I put in the essay and it just made my life 20 times easier because I'm sitting here writing down my thoughts and then I just converted that into more of an, a uh, better English speak, I should say. And I just put it in my essay and it was as simple as that. And my essay took like a lot less time than going, what am I going to put? And yeah, so I just highlighted a lot of just different stuff and then I just put it all in my essay. And I know a lot of people don't like doing that. And sometimes teachers might not even let you. But if they don't let you, pff, screw that. Just get another piece of paper and write down random thoughts. And it might be a pain, but it could definitely help you in the future. Because, like, with college, you have to write notes and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. That's how, um, for essays and that kind of stuff, that's how I study. But anyway, back to the binder. Um, 
what I always do for each binder in general, um, I always prepare it with paper. And I know like it sound might sound dumb, but what if like one of your friends walks up to you and they're like, oh, can I have a piece of paper? And you're like, oh, I don't have any paper. But then you realize that you have paper in your binder and people might take advantage of you for that, which sounds totally dumb, but it's like chewing gum. If you pull out a pack of gum and you're like, then people are going to be like, oh, can I have a piece of gum? And you're just like, I don't have any when I really do. I'm just sneaking it. <laughs> but anyway, um, there's a piece of lint in my binder. I also um, got a, I think it's just a one subject notebook um, for this class, just in case I'm sitting here and I have to write an essay and I'm just like, oh, I have to make a rough draft and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I got a notebook for that too. And this is pretty much it. Um, I might need tabs. Um, usually I would get tabs for my binders, but I haven't, again, I haven't started school yet. So they might be like, oh, you don't need tabs. And I'll be like, okay, so I just bought tabs for nothing. Um, that's pretty much it. Like, for this binder, that is. If I need tabs, I'll get them. But for tabs, you should probably label them like tests slash quizzes for one tab and then assignments for another tab, but um, that's what normal people do, but I'm not normal. For homework and assignments, I literally have another whole thing for that because I don't want to take binders home. I really don't. I'm too lazy and I get stressed out easily if I have to carry like a crap load of stuff home. So what I did was I went to Target. All of my supplies are from Target, by the way. I got this binder notebook hybrid and this is just for homework I think this is the only one I didn't make a label for because homework is all written like nice and neat right there um but yeah so what it is is it has like these three rings and you can actually like open them it's a little complicated but you can actually open them there's no like click things at the top like an actual binder does have because it's like a notebook too at the same time what I did Okay, here's where the labels come in. I made labels for all these different, because the folders come with tabs. I'll just show you. This is my pencils, pens, everything pouch. And I put it inside of my homework well, binder notebook thing. I put it inside there because I know I'm going to be carrying this around all day, putting all of my assignments in here. So, yeah, um, this actually comes with really, like, sturdy um, folder things. They're made of, like, a really heavy plastic, and, like, you put papers in here, and they can hold up there. Um, I labeled this economics with my label maker. I know, I'm a loser. Um, this one, English. This is all for just homework, by the way. Like, so whenever I go home, instead of taking home tons of, like, binders I just take home this and another thing that I'm going to show you um yeah more folders more folders and then it actually comes already with paper and usually I just put paper in my binders anyway but this comes with loose leaf paper um and graph paper yeah I might need that for statistics so that's good um yeah there's that this is homework and what I would bring home with that is actually I got a five subject um, notebook and this is just for notes as you can probably see this is just for notes so instead of hauling around like five six different notebooks in general um, I just got a big one and it comes with this like sturdy ring thing and yeah I just got this so I could just take notes and it actually comes with all these random little pockets too so in case um, there's like certain pieces of paper that I need for homework, like that give me the answers or something, then I'll just put that in the folder um, according to which like subject it is. So for studying and homework, it is these. Perfect. Like, and if you have a small bag, then perfect because these may or may not fit in a more you could just carry them and it's a lot easier than carrying a zillion binders and it's good for studying too because 
oh, I have a test tomorrow. I'll just look in my big notes book. And it actually comes with tabs too, like tiny tabs. I don't think I'm going to use them. Um, this may be really weird, but I actually might make like a little cover page and do a like key. Like for example, like this red tab could be for like economics or something. So I'll put that in a key and then the blue one could be for statistics and I'll put that in the key just so um, I can remind myself where to go. <laughs> um, because again, when you're rushing, you a lot of people tend to do things that are kind of dumb or they forget to do things and I don't want to be that person because this is my senior year and it's really important to keep track of things and I also just keep this paper folder in case you know again one of my friends comes up oh can I use the paper and then I'm like fine um and another thing when taking notes um I don't like taking notes that are boring I guess I mean all notes are kind of boring um but I keep actually in here there's like I think it's paper may ink joy is that what it is yep these are colored pens and whoa that's awesome they have like a little okay anyway um yeah that's pretty much what these are I take colored notes like for example if something's really important like um for homework which i would write notes in here uh, uh. if something's really important i would write it in like red which usually means like important i guess i would write that in red or pink and then if it's kind of something off topic i'll write it in like green or blue um or if i feel like i may be wrong about something and um i'm questionable about it i would write it in pencil in case i have to erase it sounds a little weird, but it makes sense, right? Like, if you're writing notes and you're like, well, I'm not sure about this, and you might be wrong, then you could just erase it and be like, <laughs> that never happened. So, yeah, that's pretty much it with taking notes. Um, Pretty much, I just don't like taking a lot of things home, so that's why I got the to hide the hybrid notebook thing and then the other notebook and um in my bag I just carry around like random little things that would help me study like I have my um cell phone but usually teachers don't let you use that I go to spark notes <laughs> if you've ever been on sparknotes.com they tell you like everything and usually teachers would discourage that because they give you the answers to a lot of stuff but yeah it's 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 there's a wink there awkward wink it's really simple you just go to spark notes and you type in what you have to know and then it's there so yeah during a study hall we're allowed to use our cell phones so i'd be like her, 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 spark notes answers yay or like google or wikipedia it's like my savior because i have like three study halls so during study hall i'm just gonna be like answers to homework la 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 not that I do that because that's bad, but assistance on homework answers. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have to say. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, my next one is probably going to be a clothing haul because I bought so many clothes. Oh my goodness, I need to stop buying stuff. But yeah, um, clothing haul for more. Um, I don't know how to explain it. They're not girly clothes. They're more scholar. -y, whatever. I'll tell you in the next video. Okay, I love you guys. Bye.